Hi guys, I thought I might do a bit of a troubleshooting video about the roll-in. Um, a lot of people who come to my book and have gone down that path often have come from a place where to play the trumpet was really hard work because of an inefficient or incorrect technique. And with that is that inbuilt belief that whatever the result is, it's going to require lots and lots of hard physical work. And I'm not here to deny the efficacy of dedication and persistence. I think I'm a, a living embodiment of that. But in the actual physical um, approach to the trumpet, it should be somewhat effortless. Not literally effortless, that would mean you were doing nothing, but relatively effortless. Um, it's cool. But when people go and do that roll in, they they often, not always, lip clamp the living daylights out of it, like this. And then when you put that into the trumpet, you're going to get a squished sound, you won't be able to play loud, you won't be able to re-articulate or tongue the note, and your chops are going to fatigue really quickly. So this is a how not to. So, what's happening there? Actually, nothing's wrong. It's just that it's way out of balance. So you're rolling in for like a super C, but your tongue arch and your air support are set for a G on top of the staff. The system goes out of balance, and then you get those side effects, which you just heard and which I described earlier. So essentially, the hiss or squeak is that easy. It's, you're barely trying. You can see there's little or no red. Um, there's a thin line. You can see the, the padding that's either side of the um, top and bottom lip. I don't know, I've warmed up today. That's actually the first playing I've done all day. But um, you can see how easy it is. So when you first grab the book, when you first do that roll in, hiss and squeak, try and um, switch off that ingrained um, perception, which will be like subconscious, you won't be thinking it consciously, that it's going to be hard. Really... And be okay to wait, like wait for that note. You might just get air at the start. That's okay if that happens. And then it'll pop out. beans I hope that helps um, then obviously once you've got that note just do it and do it and do it and do it and and always ask yourself could I be trying less it's a it's a matter of balance just having the right amount of each component and then 
the instrument kind of opens up to you. Cool beans. Um, yeah. Good luck, guys. All the very best. Hey guys, I hope everyone's okay in these difficult and uncertain times. Just before the lockdown, myself and the Quintet recorded and released and launched this album, The New Sound. This is the most ambitious, inventive, exciting and creative music I've ever been a part of, been able to record or play. And a few months before that, myself and my good friend Nathan Liao in January 2020 launched this album, The Mayfair Sessions, which is some of the most beautiful and glorious music I've ever been a part of. It's a collection of jazz standards in duo format, trumpet and piano. Normally at gigs we sell both of these albums for $20 each, but at the moment musicians aren't able to get out there, we're unable to gig and perform to live audiences like we love to and like we normally do. So in this instance, for the next couple of months, we're going to share our music this way and we're going to sell both albums for $10 plus postage. If you go to the link below, you can see how to order this online through PayPal and have it delivered to your door. I hope you're keeping okay. We're going to pull through this together and we will see you on the other side at live music venues across the country. Take care. Hang in there, guys.